everyone, my name is Jing and today I'll be teaching Stray Kids' new comeback song, Backdoor. So I'll be teaching the chorus section in two parts and please keep in mind that this video is going to be mirrored so you can learn the dance as is. Let's begin! Okay, so now let's begin with part one of the choreo. So to begin, we're going to have our legs apart, we're going to bring our hand up and we're going to knock four times. So you can hear the knocking sound with the music, but if you do it with counts, it's going to be on five and a six. So you can also lean a little bit towards the right on five and a six. On seven, you're going to scoop with your right arm and you're going to go towards the left with your body. And then on eight, you're going to lead with your head and come back to center. On and, you're going to grab forward with both arms. And then one, you're going to bring them towards your chest parallel to the ground. For this next part, I will teach the upper body first. So after you grab it on one and two, you're going to tilt your head towards the right and have your arms follow. Three, bring your right arm underneath your left and bend both wrists. And then four, bring up your right arm and have them come down and next to your face like this. So one more time, let's review the upper body. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. And for the lower body, we're gonna keep pretty grounded and we're gonna bring both heels outwards towards the right. So it's gonna go one, and two, and three, and four, and. So for the whole entire eight count, you're going to be bringing your heel outwards like this. And then let's connect it with the upper body very slowly. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. And to continue for the upper body, on five, you're going to hit this picture. So left arm parallel to the ground, right arm up here above your head, and six, and seven. So for this part, you're going to hit forward three times and then and eight and you're going to drop your left arm and you're going to have your hand in this position. You're going to do a come here, come inside uh, motion with your fingers. And then let's try that also with the lower body. We're going to be doing the same thing with our heels. So five and six and seven and eight and. So when you bring your hand up for this motion, you're going to stop um, moving your heels out for the lower body. And then for this part, either tilt your head a little bit towards the right or you can look completely towards the left depending on who you follow. Um, Hyunjin does it facing the front and Felix does it facing the left. So let's review this entire eight count very slowly. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and. Okay, so moving on to the next part. So after here on seven, and eight, and on one, you're going to bring your right arm down and have your left arm join. So you can either follow Hyunjin, who does it a little bit closer, or Felix, who has it more out like this. And this is going to be on one, and on two, and three and four. You're going to be hitting your fists outwards. So each time it's going to be half a count except for the very last one. So again, you hold it here on one and two and three and four. And then for your lower body, you're just going to go in a circular motion with your hips. So it goes one and two and three and four. So for this part, try to stay relatively grounded and because the music is relatively fast, you won't be able to go a full circle. So let's just kind of have a little more looseness in your legs and just try to go a little bit up and down while you move side to side. And then let's try to connect it from here. So we're here on seven and eight and one and two and three and four. And then for this part as well, you can let your neck area a little bit loose there. And whenever they go out, their head also sort of follows the movement of their wrists. So you can watch the music video for more details, but just kind of have it hang naturally and it'll, it'll follow naturally with your hand movements. So after we're here on one and two and three and four. On and, you're going to have both of your arms 
hit your chest and revert back out. So this is just a hit and then out is gonna come down to the side like this. You're gonna bring in your right leg to meet your left. So after four and five. So make sure this movement is also relatively fast and keep your arms very clean. The pathway should be like this. So hit around. So after you're here on four and five and six and seven. So for this part, you can either travel forward or you can stay in place. Um, you're gonna have your left hand open and your right hand is gonna be in a fist. So you're gonna just only be moving your right hand diagonally down like this on six and seven. And then on eight, you're just gonna have both your arms out and you're gonna hit backwards with them. And then that is it for that eight count. So let's review that eight count very slowly again from here. Five, six, seven, and eight, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Yay, so that was part one of the chorus. So now let's review everything from the very beginning with counts very slowly. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, eight, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Okay, so now let's move on to learning part two of the chorus. So after here on eight, our upper body is gonna go into this position. So our left hand is open with our palms facing down. And then our right hand is gonna be next to the top of our head like this in a fist. And then for all of these, we're gonna hit forward with our right hand and we're gonna try to keep our left hand relatively stable. For our lower body, we're gonna be stepping towards the left. And then for every step, our body orientation is also gonna face that direction. So we can also lean a little bit with our shoulders, but our weight is relatively centered still. So for this part, we're gonna go one and two and three. And then on and, you're gonna step with your right. And then four, step with your left. And step with your right. So for each of these, for the hands, we're gonna have it relatively low and then middle and then chest. And then also try to bring open your chest when you're prepping and then bring it back in when you have your hands on your body. So now let's review that part very slowly with counts. Five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, and three, and four, and. And then we're just gonna repeat the same thing. Five, and six, and seven, and eight, and one, and two, and three, and then for this part, it's slightly different. We're gonna hit on and, this is on three, and, and then four, and you're gonna go down, you're gonna bring your body down, and also look down, and then come back up on five. So let's review that very slowly one more time. That is the entirety of the second part of the chorus, so we're just gonna review everything very slowly with counts. Five, six, seven, eight, one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, eight. Yay, good job everyone. So now let's review everything from the very beginning, very slowly with counts. So starting from here, legs apart. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, eight, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so now let's practice everything together with 
percent music. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys next time.